Hey everybody, welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I'm so excited that you're here today. Well, today is a beautiful Sunday afternoon, just a lazy afternoon, not a lot going on. I have found myself to be home alone, which does not happen very often. So anytime I get that chance, I do try to film for you guys or do something fun. So what I thought I would do, since I don't really have a project happening, is I thought I would do an updated home tour. I haven't done one since I think maybe August or so of last year. I'm not really sure the exact date, but the other reason that I want to do a home tour is because I am this close to 10,000 subscribers. I would love to be able to reach the goal of reaching 10,000 by May, which is my two year YouTube anniversary. Um, it's kind of a small goal that I've set for myself to, to reach 10,000 in my two year mark. I mean, Honestly, if we're being honest, I never thought I would reach 10,000 ever in a million in a million years, much less anything beyond that. But since I am here and I'm this close, I would love to be able to get there before May, sometime in May, I, like mid-May, I think is when I started. So, usually when I post home tours, I get a little bit more traffic than just my normal everyday do you know decorate with me shop with me um craft with me videos i guess just get a, i don't know how the algorithm works but i get a little bit more traffic so i thought this is a good time to do an updated home tour so i'm going to start outside if you are new to this channel please take a minute stop check out my old videos we are mostly vintage or vintage inspired content around here. Sometimes we go a little off base and do some different things, but we do try to have a lot of fun on here and keep it light and I mean, I love this channel. I love the content that I have put out. I love the people that I have met. There's nothing negative happening here. It's all positive and it just brings me so much joy. So take a minute, check out my channel, see if you like it. If you'd like to subscribe, I certainly would appreciate you guys joining the family. So let's go outside. I'll start on the porch and then we'll make our way inside. Okay, we're on the porch and I wanna just first say that I do live in a housing development, so you're gonna hear birds flying by. You may hear dogs in the background. You're definitely gonna hear some cars driving by while we're out here. It's just, um, busy little neighborhood, but I, I will tell you, I do try to decorate my porch for all the holidays, and I have noticed that the neighbors kind of slow down when they drive by to see what I've done, and it tickles me to death to know that they're kind of looking. So, so I've set the dog alarm off. You're going to definitely hear a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and he will not stop, so we're just gonna have to work through it. But right now it's springtime, so I just have some spring pieces on the porch, but I do tend to go very, very heavy out here and in the yard for Halloween. So if that's something that you guys like and are into, definitely check out my Halloween, all of my Halloween content, cause I go way, way overboard. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what we have. So for spring this year, I decided that I was gonna go with a sunflower and daisy theme on my porch. So I went to my favorite place to look for inexpensive porch decor, and that is Timu. Now I know Timu's not for everybody. I do not endorse them or promote them. It's just where I personally shopped to get a lot of a lot of my porch decor. I like to buy pillowcases so that I can switch them out and store them pretty easily. But all of this was Timu. The only thing that did not come from Timu, these uh, Daisy um, little doodads, they came from Hobby Lobby. My sister made my wreath and I made my sign. But the little rug, the sign out here, the little flag, all of that, these pillowcases, all came from Timu, even down to my little faux daisies in the flower pot. So we're just gonna slip inside now and see where we go. So coming into my home, you will notice that it is small. It's like a big open space. We've got the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, the spare rooms, and the bathroom. I've got all the lights on, I believe. I forgot to move David's backpack, sorry about that. I did try to clean up and straighten up a little bit, but you know, we do still live here, so it's not gonna be a perfect home tour. 
Um, this is where, you know, when we come home from work, we would take our shoes off. David's work bag is here, keys, just a little drop off station here by the door. And um, I, if you've watched any of my content before or any of my home tours before, most of the furniture in the house is custom made by my husband, David. This is one of those pieces. It's made by um, like a piece of live edge wood, which is his was his favorite thing to do there for a while. So we have a lot of live edge furniture. This is um, one of my plants that I got a few months ago and I have managed to keep it alive and it is thriving and I'm so excited. Even though <laughs> I kill most of the plants that I bring in my home, this one has managed to succeed that one and one more I have over here. But right here by the door is the only place that any of my plants have ever been happy enough to thrive. So that's where they both are. And then David built these floating shelves here for some of my pictures. Most of the photography in the house was done by me. I had a period of my life where I was doing uh, not professional, but semi-professional photography. I really enjoyed it. And um, it, it, when it became a job and I did not enjoy it anymore, I did stop. So, but I did love taking pictures of my girls and you can tell by all of the pictures in the house, how much I did love it because I took a lot of them. It's a lot over there and there as well. So let's start with the living room, I guess would be a good place to start. These couches are from Ashley Furniture. I don't know that I would tell you to go to Ashley Furniture and buy these couches. It's just what we got. <laughs> it's what we have. This recliner is entirely too big for the size of our living room, but this is what we have. And then David made this coffee table and he made that side table over there to match. I do have one of those little photos that, you know, you can download the pictures, people can send you pictures and it does not match the first thing in my house. It's like a big black block, but um, you know, Hope, David said he thinks he can build a frame to go around it for me. So, and that's my other plant that lived. So, yay for me. And then I just have simple pillows on the couch because I have so much going on. I have to, you know, rein myself in sometimes. I got this beautiful tray not too long ago at the antique store, one of my favorite finds. I was so excited. Over here in the corner, I have a little curio cabinet full of my sunflower dishes that I collect. I have pulled them out and done tablescapes with them and I put them in the hutch. I like to change things around a lot. And these are some of my favorite plates to, to pull out and decorate with. So some flowers you will see is a running theme through my home. It's another thing that I have to rein in because I will get carried away, but I do love them. <laughs> I've loved them since I was a teenager and they just bring me the most joy. And then the other thing that brings me joy is amber glass. I have a lot of amber glass. I started collecting a couple years ago when David and I found ourselves to be empty nesters and we started going to antique stores and thrift stores and I just fell in love with it and started collecting it. So I have a big collection here and a big collection in one more spot that I'll show you in just a minute. And then over here, I have one of my most prized possessions, this afghan that um, one of you guys sent me. I will never not love that afghan. It is just so beautiful. And um, just all the curated pieces that I have in my home, I just try to use them in the best way. I'll change things around, I'll move them up and just, you know, keep things fun. And then this, piece here was given to us probably, oh gosh, 17 years ago by a friend and it is still hanging on. <laughs> it's a mid-century piece and we love it. Um, it's not perfect. It's got some little flaws here, but it's, it's doing its job. It keeps, you know, it has a lot of storage in it and it looks mid-century, which is the style we like here. So, and then up here is another piece that my husband built for me. And I call this my mantle. Um, I do not, as you can see, have a fireplace, but I do like the idea of decorating a mantle for all the occasions. So he made this for me and we just pretend that it is. So I have my Swan glass collection up here and I have two Genie glass bottles up here that I've collected 
throughout the years, two art pieces that are original and signed, and I just love it. I just get so much joy out of looking at this at this mantle. Now, holiday time, let me tell you, it is over the top. So if you like to decorate for holidays, I'm your girl. I'm where you need to be, so come check me out. And then this is another piece that David built for me. I'll just stay back here for just a second so you can take it all in because it is so large. It started with just being the bottom part, like a, like a buffet type table. And I asked David one day, I said, do you think you can make me a hutch? And he said, yeah. So he did. And this is where I house a lot of my depression glass. And I also have a small collection of these dishes here. Now, those dishes are not anything special for most people. But for me, they spark a memory from my childhood, so they are special to me, and those are what I chose to display. Now, I do change that hutch out quite often, and we put all kinds of fun things in there, but just for every day displaying my dishes, that's my choice. That's where I always kind of gravitate back to because it's just, it's calming for me and it's not overwhelming because I do have so much happening in here. So I just like this display the best. And then I have a small collection of, well, I have a large collection of dishes. Okay, dishes are my downfall among other things. But this small little collection, I kind of curated to match each other with the sunflowers and the colors. So I started this little collection here on the side of the hutch. My collections are large and many, and <laughs> you will find that out. So coming over here, and this is something every time I do a video, I say, I have got to get the, the telephone man out here to fix this. And 15, 16 years later, I have yet to do it. So maybe one day, I don't know. <laughs> but this is another collection um, that I put together of amber glass and I don't, I like, when I put my amber glass collections together, I like to mix them up with different textures and different elements. So you'll notice that I have dishes, I have doilies, I have greenery, I have wood, I have wicker. I just kind of, I even put some pictures in there and I mix them together. I give them different heights. And to me, it makes it more interesting it makes it more fun to look at than just a plain old shelf full of glass. So that's kind of how I do things and it works for me and I love it. So this is, I guess, one of my favorite displays in my home because it just, all the amber just shines. And of course it needs to be dusted occasionally and I don't mind doing that, I love doing that. It's kind of, it's kind of therapeutic for me, so. If you're not a duster, this may not be the lifestyle for you, <laughs> but, but it works for me. Now, right now, I do not have my table set. I normally have my table set for just every day, and I have all of my depression glass out. I have the dinner plates, the salad plates, the dessert. I have all of it, but because I've been doing some wallpapering in the house, I took it all off to you know, have a workspace, so I haven't put that back out yet. But my husband made this beautiful table for me. I love to decorate it. I love to set the place settings. We do all kinds of fun place settings around here. If you wanna go back and look at my playlist, you will see lots of fun, different ideas that we've done on this table. And then, of course, we have my tear tray. Now, don't come at me and tell me that tear trays are out of style, because I'm not listening to you. I love my tiered tray. My husband made it for me. I will, you will have to pull it from my cold dead hands. I love it. I'm always gonna decorate with it. And it just brings me all the joy. This is just, <laughs> that's just the way I feel about that. <laughs> So, uh, this is one of my favorite tear tray displays that I've done just for every day, but for holidays it gets changed, and it's always fun to change it up and see what kind of different style we can come up with. Now, this is my back door leading out to my backyard, and I decided that I needed something to go above the door, and you know, I know that these plates are not even I know, I see them, I look at them every night and I know they're not even, but 
you know what? It's not bothering me enough to get up off the couch and fix it. So <laughs> I guess that's the way it's gonna have to stay. But these are just some dishes that I have picked up through all of my shopping trips. And um, they're just some of my favorites that I want to display. I will, if there's a, if there's a free space, I'm gonna stick a plate on it because I love, I love um, iron stone, I love stoneware, anything vintage and groovy with a pattern on it, I just love it. All right, we're coming into the kitchen and you're gonna see my newly wallpapered kitchen backsplash. Well, let me give you a full view of it real quick before we go in too close. So this is my kitchen, it's the smallest kitchen in the world. And for somebody who collects, like I do, having a small kitchen is not ideal, but it's the life we live, so. David redid the countertops for me. They were this green formica when we moved in. Everything is builder grade. We had to even add the handles on the cabinets because it was just so plain. At the time that we were buying a house, this is what we could afford. We raised our girls here. We had plenty of room, plenty of love, and it still suits us just fine, so. All right, so this is just a few more of my amber glass pieces. Actually, this is depression glass. This is amber glass. I do like to use my pieces, so I would like to put my dishwasher pods in here, but the bag that I just got was leaking, and they're all stuck together, so I couldn't do that, but. I got this little shelf here from Hobby Lobby. It came to me broken and I have a little piece of, that's not bubble gum, that's earthquake putty. That is the only thing that keeps it from wobbling. And I did that because one of you guys told me, hey, dum dum, put some <laughs> earthquake putty up there and it'll stick. And it did and it's awesome and I love it. All right, and then over here, um, I'm out of rice, but this is normally where I put my rice, sugar, flour. I like to use all of my um, canisters, all of my glass for functional reasons. A little toothpick holder over there. This is just the display that I keep up. Um, I realize that most kitchens need all the counter space for food and, you know, what do you call these things? You I can't think of the word I want to use, but for food and you know these things that you need to use like blenders and toasters and coffee pots and what is the word appliances appliances thank you i realize most countertops need room for that but we don't we have we have everything that we need and it's in its place and it works so i can use my countertops for pretties and david doesn't mind and it all works for us so um he also made this little noodle board for me love it and we're just gonna continue around the corner here. He made the bread box and that is kind of it. That's it for the countertops, but it works for us. So um, the other thing that I have is above my kitchen cabinets, I do have a couple more collections. Yes, I have more collections. I have Pyrex. I have um, some owl canisters that my daughter Summer gave me and Here's some more over here. And I just love to mix it up. I added some greenery, some wooden boxes, um, just again, adding different elements, different textures, so it's not all the same hard surface like, you know, for the Pyrex. So that's how I did it and I like it. <laughs> it is a little busy. I do know it's busy, but it doesn't, you know, it, it makes me happy. So I am not a minimalist. I, this is a maximalist channel, 100%. All right, let's walk over here to my guest bathroom. And this is another project that I just did is I wallpapered my guest bathroom and I am in love with it. Let me turn this light on. So this wallpaper was from Amazon and I think I spent, let's see, 40, it took about 40, little over $40 to do this bathroom because I had to buy, a, I bought a full roll and a half roll for excess and I, I had a little left over. And this is just some pieces that I've curated throughout the years, vintage pieces, thrifted pieces, just, I mean, you know, years and years of thrifting and antiquing. And then here's my sink. So we've got a little bit of function here and not so functional. 
and then this is this side and I told you if there was a place to put a plate I was gonna put it so this is one of my mini plate walls that I have stoneware and I like to add the baskets behind it because again it just makes it a little more interesting you'll notice that is not a plate up there that is a trivet <laughs> but it looks nice so we added it and it it works and then I just have some cute little flowers from Hobby Lobby a pretty picture I also collect owls and that's my bathroom we're gonna leave the bathroom and we're gonna take a sharp right and we're gonna go into my craft room. Now my craft room is the only room in the house that is a different color from everything else. And that's because this was my daughter Summer's room when she lived here and I just kept it the same color. I didn't wanna come in here and paint. So it is a functional craft room. Right now I am working on projects. As you can see, there's centerpieces everywhere. These are centerpieces for my daughter's wedding coming up in uh, actually next year. So I'm doing a little at a time. Um, let's see, I have my salt and pepper collection over here. And then um, we'll get to that in just a second. I have a little owl collection over here. I have lots of shelving in my craft room because when I decorate for the holidays, I'm not playing around. I mean, I decorate and I take things down. I take all that amber glass down and I bring it in here so it can be safely stored. And then I bring all of my Christmas or Halloween or whatever out of the shed. And I need all of this storage space. I also have shelves over here in my closet as well that is full of decor. Let me open it up for you. And it does look like a lot. I'll admit that it's a lot, but honestly, if you watch my channel, you'll see I do come in here and I use a lot of this stuff. I'll come in here and go shopping and I'll put together tablescapes and hutches and holiday settings and, you know, we use all of it. So <laughs> that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Um, let's see told you about all the shelving, why I have all this shelving. I told you about the centerpieces that I'm working on for Lily's wedding. This is my salt and pepper collection that I have started and that will be, I will be adding to. So I've already kind of spewed over here from my, <laughs> from the original shelving that I had allotted for them. So we've kind of come over here. David built these little shelves for me and I think what I'm going to do once all this gets full is I'm going to come up here and put a shelf and you know, like I said on another video, this is my room. I can do what I want. There's no saying no in here. We got lots of collections to build on and <laughs> if I have to put it in here, that's where I'm going to put it. And these are all owls that I have collected over the years. Some were gifts, some were um found by me but i love each and every one of them and let's come out here let's go back out to the living room all right so the only thing left to see at this point is my bedroom and my bathroom so if you've hung on this long you're awesome thank you so much um this is the garage we're not going out there because that is the garage of doom and nobody you don't even want to see that so this is my bedroom and we have a lot of large size furniture. Yes, that's my iron up there. I forgot to hide it out of sight so you wouldn't know that we are living real life here. <laughs> All right, so I have a large bed. I have told you this before in the past. My father-in-law built this bed custom for this room. It will only fit in this space it will only fit in this room. So we also have two little side tables here that are sized perfectly for this wall. And it is very hard to move. <laughs> um, it, it's just, it's a big old bed. And then he also, let me close this door so you can see my art back here. He also built us a big old dresser back here that is taller than I am and it holds all the clothes. We have no tr trouble with storage and clothes around here, so we are good. So back over here, this wall here is 
my cruel collection and I, four of these pieces were a gift from um, Susan from the old so-and-so love her and then two of them were some pieces that I picked up while I was thrifting and antiquing and then these lamps these amber colored lamps came from Hobby Lobby because I was a little I wasn't quite sure. I wanted some vintage lamps, but I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to have them plugged in. You know what I mean? I have other vintage lamps in the house that I just unplug when I'm not using them, and I've never had any issue in the past, but at the time when I was looking for lamps, I wanted vintage lamps, but I saw these and I thought, you know what? That's the ones I want. So, got those from Hobby Lobby, and then we have yet another stoneware wall here. This, these are, these are stoneware pieces that you'll probably find easier because there's just one of each and you can kind of put them together and make a collection and they look nice together. They just all kind of match and, and go together. And then that's just a piece of art that I found. It is original and signed that we found at a thrift store, I think. And stuck it up there it's kind of large for the space but it works my bedding was just you know home goods I did make the pillows from some vintage fabric that I ordered on eBay and I love that fabric let me give you a close-up view of its glory I do I did have some leftover fabric that I use like for a table runner I wish I had more of it I would make a whole set of curtains out of it if I could find it because wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Man, I just saw it in my mind and it was glorious if I had a whole set of vintage curtains made out of that fabric. Dang, I wish I could find some. Okay, so over here is just another picture wall of photographs of my family. This I've had since I was a teenager, just jewelry, things like that. That's David's office. We're not going to go in there. Although I could show you his, what he built in there. If you don't mind the mess, I'll show it to you. But look, this, this room has not been set up for your viewing pleasure. It is everyday life. <laughs> so this is real life. So, you know, David had surgery the other day. My sister-in-law brought these, all these puffy pillow things for him to sleep on, thinking that he was going to have to sleep sitting up so all that has to go but let me show you what david built so he built this floating desk here above this he built all these shelves for his bibles he's got a bunch of bibles that he collects and all of his um, resource material and then back here on this side he built two more floating shelves for all of his personal things he built his own personal shoe rack now when i say personal shoe rack i mean he measured his shoes how long they are <laughs> and, and he measured it too so that these if his foot grows an inch these shoes are not going to fit so he made his own little shoe rack here god bless his heart let's see let me pick his little bedroom shoes up and if it's perfect is it is that not adorable okay and a little and a little nut so and then for this down here, he put all of his winter clothes here. He just put that little pole there, and then that's his safe. So <laughs> I was, I just thought this was the neatest little, little room that he fixed. But this is his office, so I don't mess in here. It wouldn't be quite so bad if, if all those pillows weren't there, but they've got to go back to his sister-in-law. Oh, I got this little thing yesterday at the yard sale. And I did a quick little 12 minute video showing you what I found at the yard sale. And then this is just a shelf of photographs and some amber glass and just, um, what are these? These are photo albums that I made, scrapbooks, just all kinds of things. It's a little shelf. I will scoot down here so you can kind of see a little bit better, but still keep a healthy distance so you can't see all the dust. I did just recently thrift that plate. It's hand-painted. It's gorgeous. So pretty. And then the next thing we're going to do is go in my bathroom. Now, my bathroom is the only room in the house that we have never done anything to other than paint it. 
he did put the, I'm out of breath. He did put a few shelves up in here, but we've never redone the flooring. There's some things I want to do. The things that I would like to do in this bathroom is I'd like to put new flooring. I'd like to put like molding around the mirrors and I'd like to do something on this wall. I think I'm going to wallpaper this wall. So tell me what you think. Here's, here's me asking for your opinion. Should I wallpaper this wall, the same wallpaper that's in the other two spots, or should I, I'll, I'll put a little picture down here. There's one more wallpaper that I really like from Amazon and I'm trying to decide between the two. Should I go with a different one or should I keep it the same as the other two in the house? So let me know, tell me down in the comments. And then this big shelf here is just a big solid block of wood. It is beautiful and it is stuck on here. It's not going anywhere. I wish that this could have been the mantle in my living room and this could have been used in there, but this came later when the mantle in the living room was already up. But I thrifted that picture and, it, well, pretty much everything up there. This is the shower curtain that came from the other bathroom that you guys were like, I like that shower curtain. Well, I just brought it in here. We didn't get rid of it. And then we have three shelves back here that David built for us. I have another hand-painted portrait picture. Um, whatever up there. I like to pull that out in the fall time. And then behind me, I have yet one more, and I think this is the last one, wall of dishes. <laughs> but isn't it pretty? The colors just kind of go together. I just love the darker shades. And you'll, you'll notice that all of my plate walls, they kind of, they're curated. They're meant, I've said that word 15 times. That's the only word that'll come to my mind. But like these are kind of meant to go together. The ones with the flowers are kind of meant to go together. They, they all kind of match. So they're in their rightful position and place on the wall. So they're meant to be there. And then David also built this little shelf here just for storage. We put extra toothbrushes, toilet paper, things like that down there. It's just, just don't have any in there right now. And I think that is it. All right, let's 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 go back out to the living room and I will say my goodbyes. That was a lot of talking. <laughs> I really should not be that winded for just walking around my house and talking to people. It, it should not be that bad, but it is. So anyway, thank you so much for taking a few minutes of your day to spend with me and tour my little home. It does mean so much to me when I tell you it, it just makes my whole day to see you guys popping in with comments, to know that you're supporting me watching the videos. I love this channel and I really would love to see it grow even more. But if I just reach 10,000, then I just reach 10,000. I'm fine with that because at least I know that the 10,000 people that are here are of pure of heart, good spirited, happy, and you know, mean me no harm. They're just, they're just friends from the internet. And I love that because you know, with the more people that come in, the meaner people come in. So that's kind of the things that you have to expect and accept when you put your life out there on the internet. But anyway, thank you. If you'd like to subscribe, I sure would appreciate it. And until next time, I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye.